It's very annoying when people answer questions with stories, isn't it? With single stories. Except that sometimes those stories are so interesting, so remarkable, so instructive, that they're worth paying attention to. And this happened to me when my son was really young, five years old. He got septicemia. Bad. He had a graze on his elbow that um, became infected. I don't, I didn't know when he got it. He was with his dad out in the park and I didn't know what caused it. But his elbow swelled to the size of a grapefruit. He had a red streak up his arm, inner arm to his armpit. The, armpit, the glands were all swollen. He couldn't put his arms down. All his glands, all the glands in his body were swollen. He had a fever, 104. What is that now? In centigrade, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he was delirious. I tried two remedies, good ones, well indicated for high hot fevers with septicemia. They didn't work with delirium. They didn't work. I found I was a baby homeopath at the time, new in, new-ish in practice. I found another homeopath in town to consult with, and we gave him a third remedy. Within one minute, his delirium lifted. He spoke normally. Within 20 minutes, he fell into a deep sleep. Eight hours later, he woke up for the first time from that sleep. He woke up without one single symptom. This had gone down, no fever, no redness, no pain. We went fishing, like we'd always planned to do with a friend. <laughs> and so, had that third remedy not have worked, we would have called an ambulance and we would have been grateful for every life-saving medication that the NHS threw at him. But they might not have saved his life because this kind of septicemia is life-threatening and not everybody survives, lives to tell the tale. I had a medical student watching me, <laughs> so I had a witness for this, and that medical student was, I mean, I didn't have, we didn't have cell phones, this is a long time ago, I couldn't take pictures or a video. So, um, the next day I found out that he'd been in the park and picked up a dead animal and his dad hadn't thought to wash his hands and he'd infected the gut. So it was um, that bacterium that got in, <laughs> I've gone blank, staphylococcus strep, whatever it is, um, um, and spread through his body like wildfire. The remedy that helped him to heal is made from meat that has been left to go rotten and been then prepared as a homeopathic remedy. Every day homeopaths see that their prescriptions not work, not work, not work, and then work. Just like doctors give one antibiotic another, it's the third or fourth one that is effective for a really difficult infectious disease maybe. And um, homeopaths sometimes don't have all the information that they need. I didn't know my son's septicemia was caused by an, an, a dead animal that he'd picked up in the park and his dad forgot to wash his hands and he'd infected the cut. So when you, like I said at the beginning of this conversation, <laughs> 
You have to see it to believe it. And when you do, you're hooked. It's not a, a panacea. It's hard work. And then it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful.